Hi gardening friends. I'm Lark and I'm in Wisconsin zone 5. Today it is around 49 degrees maybe high of 51 with a northeast wind so it's kind of chilly. I want to just show you an update on my clear totes that I have outside today. This is what happens when there is too much sun for a few years. These are three-year-old totes. This one, the UV rays, just made brittle. But it's good enough just to give some air circulation in there. Here, that one I don't have cracked. I don't need to have it cracked because it's cracked. <laughs> the sun is off and on again today. So, as you can see, I have it cracked a little. These are all warm season plants. These are my peppers which ha have had two bouts of, um, what is it, mealybugs. Just sprayed them again today with a little soapy water. I started them later than last year, and I won't do that again. I'm going to go back to starting them uh, a month earlier. I, I just thought I didn't want to fight with mealybugs, but I'm going to have them no matter what, I guess. So I keep them cracked a little bit. They want heat, but not hundred degrees and it gets pretty hot in these clear totes. Castor beans, I have them in four inch pots and this one will have to be transplanted because they still have to be in here a month. So I'd say in a week I'll transplant the three inch pots. Now these are in uh, cell packs and I'll put them in three inch pots. I like castor beans because of the leaf size and the color of the leaf so it, it gives the garden interest all season long until a hard frost. These here I'm letting dry out today because they transplant better when I can knock them out of a, a dry container. This is amaranth, uh, Hopi, H-O-P-I, and some basil there letting it dry out so the roots separate better when you knock them out of the pot. And that's Mexican sunflower and some salvias and some sage, that's blue sage, and salvia. I'm not going to bore you with what the plants are for so long. Just showing you that those are drying out. These are drying out. Holy moly! I overseeded my kale because it was old. Well, it came good. So we'll be eating it as microgreens and I'm transplanting a little of everything in probably about 30 of those. Or, those are ornamental, but we can eat them yet too, ornamental cabbages. I am doing the tape toilet paper roll method and I am keeping it covered with plastic because I don't know where the lid is for that one. These I took out because I don't want the plastic hitting the top of them. These are beets, bull's blood. I like the red leaf and I love the beet. Just some perennials, but I'm letting those dry out too because I want to transplant them tonight. Parsley, just chilling outside here. Some more plants I need to transplant, some cosmos, nasturtiums, bachelor buttons, Mexican sunflower, Adjurbatums. I just want them to heat up in there and dry the dirt out. My cannas. Oh, I'm pleased that I started these early. These have the orange flower. I think they're called Australia. Again, double duty in the garden. Leaf texture, leaf color, all season long in containers in the garden, and then an orange flower to boot. My peas. We're supposed to get nicer weather next week, not down in the 30s at night. So the 40s will be good for it. So I'm going to plant these out. And I have some more in the house that I succession planted. More kale. So the clear totes still work out really good for me. My lettuces that I've been picking from. And I did them in an egg carton, started them in an egg carton, clear egg carton, and I had the top on 
which was clear too. And these will be getting transplanted probably in a week or so. One tomato I have out here because it's against the house so the northeast wind isn't getting it. The rest I left inside today. Let's go inside my messy greenhouse kitchen. I am wintering rosemary. It's doing well. I do put that outside too when it's a little warmer. My tomatoes are transplanted for their second time. Uh, they were in a cell pack, then in a three inch pot, and now I think this is a six inch. And I'm hoping this is the last time to transplant these. I did start them uh, uh, three weeks or later this year, topped them once, and I think that'll be good for this year. Some uh, opal basil in there also. Chitting some potatoes. I have some potatoes planted already. And they're just popping through. It took about mm, 19 days for them to pop through out in the garden. So I've topped most of these tomatoes. A couple I didn't top. The Juliet. I, well, I don't think I topped that one. Maybe I did. Here are some more beets I have in here that I use the paper towel, mat, the toilet roll. And more than one, of course, is coming up with them. And I will try to separate them when they're dry and transplant them. And then some more peppers. Those are jalapenos. My peas are just popping through some more. And my tomatoes. More tomatoes. Way too many tomatoes. I also have this amaryllis that should have been blooming at Christmas, but I forgot it was downstairs. Isn't that a beauty? Clear totes all over the place. I have some basil that I'm letting flower so I can have some seed. And the shamrock plant, which again, I like because of the foliage color. And this egg carton as a little greenhouse. I can't keep the top on anymore because I have some kales in there. And I'm letting them dry out. They're pretty dry so I can transplant them easily. So that's it, my gardening friends. That's most of my plants. Whoops, I think I have some over here in the family room. I do. These here I'm just seeding and have the top on. Whoops, that's coming through, good. What is this? Let's see. I do have a marker in it. Like you really care. Oh, there it is. What is this? Oh, orange cosmos, good. I like orange because it complements all the blue in my garden. Chamomile, never can have too much chamomile. And since I use the chop and drop method outside, some of this seed doesn't come up because I have it covered. Some more, the in here is Mexican sunflower. Now I leave the um, clear tops on until they show, which I'll probably be taking this off now so it gets air circulation. And that can go in a tote outside. But if uh, it hasn't sprouted yet, I leave the, the cover on. This is Gallardia, and the seed is really old. And my Gallardia has not come back in the garden, so I'm hoping it seeds. So that's it, gardening friends. That's it for my clear tote mini greenhouses. Onions are planted outside now. So take care. Thanks for stopping by and have a good one.